Hey folks, I uh, hope you're having a good day. Today we've got a short movie which is going to be installing uh, Mercedes light -like gullwing doors for the engine bay and it's a little different. It's a very short film so uh, I'd love you to watch it all the way through. Thanks a lot. First thing is to prep the primer which is on the fuse right now so I have to uh, rough scuff it down with some uh, 80 grit sandpaper and this will give me a good bond because I'm going to actually initially CA these hinges in. They are brass and I have also scuffed the face of the hinge so that it uh, gets stuck. So now I'm just fitting to get a decent uh, positioning on the hinge and uh, that's about the most difficult part of it. First things first is uh, to put a few dabs of CA on the uh, face of the hinge. This is just so we can uh, put it into position, zap it with some kicker and uh, hold it in place until we can put the uh, permanent uh, adhesive on it. And uh, there we go, we got it in position. Brad with his girly uh, fingers has uh, entered the picture. And he's going to pretty much zap it for me while I hold it. Uh, it's a bit awkward when you try and do it by yourself. So Brad came over today to help and seeing it's his actual plane that I'm building. Um, it's a good job he did because <laughs> it really helped. So anyhow, the, the hinge is tacked into position. And uh, then we'll move on and uh, show you the rest of it. Right, here comes uh, the uh, final adhesive for the uh, top half of the hinge, which is my infamous uh, shoe goo in a syringe, which I'm now injecting behind the uh, hinge and connecting it with a really good connection into the actual door. I'll come now with a uh, lolly stick and put a bit of a flange and also squeezing it in. So basically just cleaning up the hinge. Once this cures, I mean, it is not going anywhere. It will always be on there. Now I'm going to install the uh, two magnets that uh, hold the hatch down. Works really good. First thing I have to do is send the back of the magnet so that we uh, rough them up so that when I CA them in to the pocket, which you'll see soon, uh, I get a really good stick. Uh, one thing I don't want is those uh, doors coming open during flight, which could cause all kinds of problems. I then send a couple of regular uh, steel washers, which will act as the opposing latch for the magnets. And this is what I'm doing now. Now I'm prepping the recesses that hold the magnets in to the fuselage. These are tabs which are formed into the mold. I'm using the back end of a file to just scrape and gouge the epoxy to make sure I really get good adhesion uh, for the magnets. So I've scraped the back of the, I mean, I've sanded the back of the magnets, I've scraped the recess. Once I add the CA in, in after cleaning, it's gonna work out really good. The next step is just to add uh, a couple of uh, fairly heavy drops of CA into the recesses. And then I uh, take the magnet, simply slide it in. And these are the type of magnets which have the holes in them. So it acts also uh, like a rivet. Hit it with the CA, hold it for a couple of seconds, and it will be in there pretty much permanently. I've not had one separate yet. If you do have a problem, because these magnets do have holes in them, I could put a very small uh, flush-headed uh, screw with a nut behind it, and that would uh, permanently attach them also. Right now, I just prefer the uh, CA method. It's, it's worked so great so far, and uh, that's why the recesses were designed into the plug, which ends up in the mold, and then your part. So, 
Now I've got, I'm just pressing the uh, magnets for a while uh, to get a good adhesion. Now I just place the uh, steel washers on each magnet with the uh, sanded side facing out, i.e. towards the door. Do a quick test fit, make sure it's fitting good and there's no stress on the door. And then we'll be ready to do the next stage. Now that the magnets are permanently installed into the uh, fuselage, uh, I, I'm going to give them a liberal coat of uh, just Vaseline. And this is needed before I uh, actually add the washers to it, which you'll see in a moment. Off camera, I uh, cleaned my uh, fingers with uh, alcohol to make sure there was no Vaseline on there. Otherwise, uh, we could have a problem with the uh, washers sticking to the door if I get some Vaseline over them. So just watch for that. At this stage, it's super critical that you uh, just, you know, test fit the door once again before we uh, apply the CA. Now that I know that the uh, magnets and the washers are isolated by the Vaseline, it's time to put a good uh, couple of blobs of CA onto the washers. And then what we're going to do next is close the door down onto the washers and uh, position them in place. Before closing the door, I've just applied some kicker to the uh, back side of the door where the uh, washers uh, are positioned. And then I'm just going to hold the door in place over the washers with the CA on them. And theoretically, uh, this should uh, cause everything to harden up real quick and allow me to uh, get the right position of the washers to the magnets. I previously uh, fit uh, the left hand door, as you can see, and uh, it helps me just push through from the inside uh, to release the new, new uh, door that we've just installed. So everything is pretty solid at this point but now it's time to add the uh, second weld of uh, glue to make sure that we get a really good fix. Now I'm applying a second coat of CA around the perimeter of the uh, washers. This is to ensure that I have a good welded bond of the washers to the door because obviously again I do not want them coming up. So now that the uh, washer perimeter weld is applied, I've got to make sure that I get the uh, CA off the face of the washer. Uh, and I just use a Q-tip and uh, then uh, hit it with the kicker once more. And we should now have a really good bond. Now that the magnetic latch is taken care of, I'm going to come along again with my trusty uh, shugu in the syringe trick and I'm going to put another uh, flange of uh, shugu onto the lower part of the hinge now and uh, just squeeze it in with the lolly stick, wipe it up, clean it up and uh, we're good to go on this door. So that is the uh, end of the door installation. If you like this series of videos, then uh, please uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of any uh, new updates, which there's going to be quite a few. And please leave any comments on what you do like or do not like or what you'd like to see coming up in the future. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with me.